All right, so in a short I posted along with this, you should have seen the custom light up GameCube controller I did. So I will be doing a teardown of it and I guess showing you how to build your own. Okay, now if you've never taken apart a GameCube controller, it's pretty simple actually. The only thing you need is a tri-wing screwdriver. It won't be easy to see because of the focus on the camera. But if you look up on the uh, actual screws themselves, they have three prongs instead of a regular Phillips 4. Uh, so you have to get a special bit for that. I have a little iFixit kit, so I will take it apart and show you the insides. Okay, so from here I'll take apart the controller. Now what I'll mention is uh, my top half and bother, bottom half are tethered together, and that's because of the uh, LEDs I installed. So I'll start with those first in the trigger, and uh, basically what I did for this mod was I bought two things, which is uh, 5 volt LED strips and uh, GameCube controller buttons from eBay. So basically what uh, you do is you replace all the buttons, and then with the LED strips uh, you can mix all the colors together. So with these I bought LED strips with an adhesive backing, so, you, so I could stick them to the walls of the controller and then uh, only route power to them. Now it's important to note that with these LED strips I used uh, regular 5 volt LED strips not the addressable kind. Uh, with the addressable kind you'd have to have a microcontroller in here which would make it a lot harder to fit in a controller. So with this it's difficult to see but if you look in there uh, all the red, green, and blue grounds are tied together. So that's how I mix the colors. So with the white, I'd mix red, green, and blue. And uh, that's how I got the triggers, since that's close to the original gray. Uh, I mounted them in a place that would not interfere with the triggers when you compress them. So they're out of the way, and so is the wires going to them. Uh, they're out of the way of the rumble, which is an important thing as well. And then from there, that's basically the theory on how I implemented it to the main board. So with that, we can lift this up and we can open up the rest of the controller to show the how the rest of the buttons were done. Now it's a bit hard to get at it with one hand, but there we go. So what you'll see is with the C stick, I did the same thing and I basically mounted it on the wall here. Now what I did was uh, I used the adhesive backing mounted on the wall and then you can see I've joined two of the grounds again and that's to create the yellow color of the LED. And I put two of them on the C stick so that it's more of an even diffusion. And then I've done that for the control stick as well. Now what you'll see is I had to cut little uh, mounts in uh, out of there so you, it would actually go through the shell and I know a lot of people would hate that I'm cutting an OEM GameCube controller shell but realistically uh, there's not much else of a choice and my goal with this project was to make it as reversible as possible and basically these uh, cuts are as non-intrusive as possible and if you put the original sticks and buttons back in, you wouldn't even notice that it was cut. Now, uh, with that, you can see the little blue tape uh, that holds the adhesive backing on. Uh, with some of them, you can't use the adhesive backing. That's why this one has a hot glue. And I'll take this little uh, membrane pad off. And if I could actually get my fingers under it, there we go. Now the D-pad as well, I had to do that. Uh, this one you could use the adhesive backing, but you still had to cut a little mount in it. And for anything circular or anything like the D-pad and C-sticks, I uh, put two in to make it more even as mentioned. Now with the buttons, that's where it gets a bit more confusing. Uh, with these, it's a bit more of a bundle of wires, but uh, I cut little holes into each of them uh, wherever possible and then put a uh, LED there. So with the A button, you can see the LED right there. Uh, the Y button, it's right there. And the X button would be a bit more uh, concealed. And then the B button is all the way back there. Now these have uh, one little cut in them, 
So if we take out the buttons, you can see they have a cut in them. But uh, again, it's in a way that's as non-intrusive as possible. And uh, it basically uh, just puts the light in there so it will shine through the clear buttons. Now, with these bundle of wires, it looks a lot more complicated than it is. Uh, this was an older project, so it's not very well, um, it's not really made for ease of uh, readability. Realistically, these green and white wires and all these thin wires should be just red and black for power. There's nothing else that's used in this mod. It's only a 5 volt power mod. And then to, uh, as mentioned for the colors, you just mix the uh, grounds together. So that's how you get the color. So for A, I'd only uh, tie the green ground uh, to ground, leave the other ones floating. B, I'd tie the uh, uh, red ground to ground and that let B be uh, red. And then the X and Y, I tie all of them to ground to get the white. Now what you'll notice as well is that the Z button is not modded at all. Now as mentioned I got these uh, eBay buttons and sticks. Uh, now with the eBay buttons and sticks it's notorious that the Z button never works. So you either have to modify the Z button or you have to just use the original one. Now with me uh, I wasn't going to really fit an LED there anyway and there's no easy way to mix purple. So I figured I'd just leave the original button in there as you don't see it often anyway. And another one too is the start button has no LEDs. With the start button it's too uh, shallow to really fit one in there and I didn't really want to go through the effort of doing that so it doesn't have a uh, uh, LED in it either. Now with all that since it's just power all you have to do is tap into the power of the GameCube controller and again the uh, wiring is bad uh, color coded as I have two of the exact same colors but one of these is ground and one of them is 5 volts and you basically tap into that for the GameCube controller. Now with this you're tapping into the 5 volt of the rumble so this works with the original GameCube controllers but other GameCube controllers, such as the Wavebird, it would not work since it runs off the three, vol three volts. Uh, so while it's open here, I'll show you with the LEDs powered on. You can see all the different colors. Now it's a bit oversaturated on the camera, but you can see the yellow of the C-Stick, white in all the uh, other colors, and then you can see the B is red and the A is green. And if we pop the A back in here, you can see it just diffuses through the stick or the button. Uh, so basically if you'd like to actually see how to build this more I did a more in-depth guide on my instructables. Uh, I will link that in the description and that will basically walk you through wiring diagrams. Uh, the pin, It should have the pinout of the GameCube controller and it should walk you through how to do this mod yourself or uh, it'll provide ideas for other GameCube controller mods. Now, if you'd like to uh, see more of the stuff I build and see more of it documented, primarily my next on my list is probably this wireless keyboard I built. Uh, basically, subscribe to my YouTube, ask any questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video, I guess.